Holy crap. It snowed hard last night. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're snowed in. Look how deep it is. Are you insane? Weather forecast did say we were supposed to get 10 inches, and I think we got 10, 10 inches. Oh, and I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Nothing worse than having to get out of your van in the morning, put yourself out in that stuff just to get the snow off your van. It's a red plaid kind of day. Good old Canadian 2-4. Oh yeah. Oh. Something I started doing a little while ago is carrying a belt knife. So I used to carry this in my pocket, but it, it gets to be, you know, there's a lot in the pocket going jingle jangle. So I bought this little pouch and I've been carrying this on my hip and holy, I use the knife a bazillion times more. It's so convenient. I, I It's weird because my whole life, I, I never felt the need to carry a pocket knife for what? What was I gonna do with it? But lately I've been using it to cut open boxes and pretty much just about anything, cutting open Cruz's dog food on a daily because his, his frozen dog food comes in these sealed packages so the pocket knife is like right here that whoosh, <laughs> and you're good to go I don't know maybe it's a weird old man thing <laughs> whoa yeah that's deep look how deep that is my friends overnight there was nothing on my van yesterday when we parked here look how deep that, look how deep that is all right, let's get this van cleaned off. I hear we're supposed to get ice rain later this morning. That is not going to be fun. I don't know if it was 10 inches like they said, but there's a solid five or six here. Ooh. Ah, right in my face. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like soap bubbles. <laughs> my van looks awesome in the snow. I gotta say, out of every every weather system my van has been out in mud and all that other stuff it looks the best in the snow <laughs> kind of like it belongs out here the only thing that doesn't belong out here is me but i gotta tell you guys a little tiny baby secret i've kind of enjoyed this snow a little bit i have Sorry, but I have. <laughs> uh, I hate that I don't have backcountry access, but this is incredible. Jeffy just opened up his back door and took a peek outside. So now that he's awake, I'm gonna go clean his windows and stuff off for him. I was gonna do it, but I didn't wanna like wake him up. You know, Jeffy sometimes doesn't get up till like eight or nine in the morning. Morning, Jeffy. I'm gonna clean your van off, bro. Man, Jeffy's all squared away. Thank goodness we're on a pretty wide shoulder here. 
so the plow didn't didn't uh, bury us in so the curb thing's way over there so we have all this extra space to kind of drive over it it's nothing worse than being on a narrow shoulder and then the plow coming through and shoving all that snow right up against your van <laughs> Grizzy are you gonna wake in Grizzy's like I know what's going on out there I want nothing to do with it Hey, Grizzy. <laughs> He's like, yep, nope, not gonna happen. Good morning, welcome to Steel Horses. What can I get for you? Can I get a large Americano, two sugar, one cream? Two sugar, one cream? Thank you to Mark and Lisa for the coffee this morning. Just heading to my shop. I'm gonna get it all nice and warmed up because Jeffy's coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just honked at the guys out there from the mechanic shop that have worked on my van a few times. Anyway, we're going to go heat the shop up because Jeffy's coming in today to do some work on his van. And uh, just want to make sure it's nice and warm for that guy. Ah, the snow covered bridge. That's amazing. Cruz is having himself a little breakfast. How is that, Cruz? Oh, that looks so gross. <laughs> it's all over his face. Hey, he's like, it's not gross, Dad. This stuff's delicious. <laughs> uh, for breakfast, he's having raw lamb, beef organ, and white fish. And there's a bunch of other little stuff in there, like a little, little bits of pumpkin. And so gross, bro. Step number two, we need some music in the shop. A little bit of Snoop Dogg. Bro, it's all over your face, buddy. Look at the floor. Step number three, have a little breakfast. Oh, look at these little baby pancakes. Making some farmer sausage, because Jeffy should be here any minute. Something to snack on. Susie and Jeffy are playing on the floor there. Come in and out. I turned the camera on to film Jeffy's nail salon. You were doing nails. I thought, well, the heck, bro. Come on, get in here, do my nails. <laughs> Are you doing picking the gunk out of your nails? Oh, well, yeah, they were dirty. So I just. Yeah. Where's well, Jeffy? Jeffy just had a little project that he needed to do on his van today, so he got that all done. And we're gonna, we're gonna head out of here. Jeffy's little project is all squared away. I have uh, some garbage and stuff and some scraps. I need to go to the garbage dump. So we're gonna head out right now. The ambulance lately has very well been my shop truck. <laughs> the thing that just takes stuff to the garbage dump every once in a while. We're gonna go out and pick up supplies. This, I believe, is going to be the very last trip in the ambulance. Did we say that last time I went out? This time I mean it. The last one. And then we start pulling it apart. <laughs> Where are we, buddy? We have a bunch of scraps back there from the walls and some garbage. You're not garbage. I won't throw you out, I promise. This is the first time I've ever been to the garbage dump and it has a lineup. Usually when I come here, I just drive straight in. Damn. Hi, Biggie. How you doing, bud? That is so cool. 
So I turned the ambulance around because I am, I think the first project we're gonna do is to pull the entire front end off of here. Oh, I gotta shut the doors. My hands are red. <laughs> it's a little chilly out. All that snow melted though. It rained a bit, the sun came out, gone. <sighs> so yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do here is to pull the front clip off. These fenders need to be replaced and, uh, oh, put the heater on. I bought a Wabasto um, exhaust for my Chinese heater because they're quieter. Because that one can be a little bit noisy outside. So we're going to go stick this on there. I'm not sure if these are interchangeable or if the pipe sizes are different. The Wabasto pipe looks a little smaller. I think I'm gonna need to build a, a little sleeve for here. So if you look inside of here, you can look straight through it. It's, it's like, what's in there? What's in there that actually makes it muffle the sound? But you can't see through this one because there's baffles and stuff inside of here. This one's heavy. This feels, feels like an empty tin container. So that makes me wonder if I can double these up because if this one's actually just shooting straight through, I wonder if I can just do this. Hey, I wonder if that's a thing. Normally I would say no, if it was like two Wabasto ones, because I think that would cause a lot of back pressure for the heater, but because the Chinese one is, it looks like it just goes straight through. Well, I'm gonna give it a shot. If it blows up, I'm here. I have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> this thing's been working out pretty good. Oh yeah, I'm making a little lunch. Uh, we got some stir fry veggies and some Italian sausage. And the ingredient gold today is this stuff. I got it at Costco. It's like a balsamic vinegar glaze. Ah, just pour it on there. So, so good. A little sunshine popping out. Gonna go in and do some laundry. Much, much needed. Got the heater on trying to heat up this cold van. Whew. It's chilly outside today. This winter stuff is not fun. I don't like it when it's cold outside. The snow has been pretty, moments here and there, but this weather just makes me just want to stay in, crank the heat on and watch movies every day. <laughs> but if we want to earn a living so we can travel hard this summer, we got to make videos. And uh, as of right now, guys, I literally could just curl up in here for a week and just watch movies. But we got laundry to do. I got to go to the mainland to see my daughter. Huh. Look what's parked behind me. Is that Jeffy Bear? It's Jeffy Bear. What's up, buddy? Oh, heater, heater, keep me warm. <laughs> that little magic little circle right there is bumping out some good heat. Whew. Pull up the fire. Put the fire right there. Hey. <laughs> Such an idiot. Ah, oh, it's so warm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So I'm having a full-blown conversation here with Jeffy, and he's just like, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. And then he reaches up and touches his hearing aid. He didn't hear a damn thing. Not a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that entire drawer is socks and underwear. I have more socks in underpants. <laughs> Can't believe I just said underpants. Now than I have ever in my life. In my apartment, I had a quarter of what I own now. And there is a reason for that 
When you're living in a vehicle and you're not always in town, because I like to spend some time in the backcountry, that allows me to go longer without having to come here and visit the laundromat all the time. And there are times when I would love to just change my socks and underwear every day. I don't always. And uh, that gives me the ability to kind of wear clean stuff on the underside on a regular. I absolutely hate the laundromat. So if I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna do a monster load and then not have to come back here for over a month. And up there is where I keep my backup bedding. I always keep backup bedding for one reason. <laughs> Same reason I keep so much underwear and socks and clothes so I can avoid going to, um, going to, the, laun going to the laundromat. I hate it when the roads are like this, when they look like a regular road, but they're ice. Back at Costco for the night tonight. I just don't want to be street slide and have some car slide into my van. Looks like there's somebody car camping right there. <laughs> you having a hard time walking on this stuff? He's like, Dad, it seems hard, but yet I step on it and I kind of fall through. The snow is frozen on the top, so it's hard and then it just kind of crushes. It's starting to get cold outside and it really sucks. I thought the temperature was going to rise up. I really miss the backcountry. Inside of here needs to be calmed and centered or something because I'm feeling very tense and agitated and the problem with the backcountry right now is you drive back there and the snow is a bit soft and then you get a freeze and then the top of the snow turns really hard and if you're driving and you're trying to drive through this hard pack stuff you may never get out <laughs> so being in the backcountry right now is is kind of like a a no-go it's not an option i don't want to be back there and then all of a sudden you get a big freeze and now i need an icebreaker to get through all that snow to get back out but I feel something inside of here just needs, needs some peace and calmness. And I really wish when I took that break from YouTube that I could get back in the backcountry. But all that snow kept me in town. And you all know me if you've been around here for a while. I do good in town for a short span. Then I need to pause, shove it back in the bush for a little bit. And go just breathe some real air. And just let, the, let nature take control. But right now I'm feeling... <laughs> it is definitely getting chilly out there again. Bye everybody shopping at Costco. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Why do you stay so calm? Why do you stay so calm? I still need to replace... <laughs> I'm just gonna tap it. I still need to replace that light. It's got a bit of a short in it somewhere. Woo! Why is this side, why is this side worse than, anyway, whatever. <laughs> COVID's got our gym shut down, so our showers are gone right now. Well, what, I've been showering in whatever I can lately, <laughs> boiling pots of water and pouring them over me and hoping that it clears off all the grossness off me. But um, speaking of that, I had a company reach out to me. I just read the email today. I haven't replied back to them. They have portable heated uh, showers for inside of your vans. They come in like buckets where they have a heating element in them and you pressurize them and then you just go for it. And I'm like, ah, oh, this couldn't have come in such, <laughs> in such good timing. <laughs> ah, guys. So I'm going to email them back tonight and hopefully they have some really cool options. Maybe I'll grab a couple of their products and give them a try and see if we have some more shower options because right now, um, doing what I'm doing is working. I'm, um, sometimes I just fill up my poo bucket with water and then boil pot by pot until that water is hot enough and then just scoop one pot over me one at a time until I'm fully clean or I grab my little 12 volt shower thing. If I have a, a place where I can stand up outside, nobody can see me. I have a 12 volt shower thing that you drop into the thing and it just sucks it up into the thing and then you spray yourself off. It, it, look, I'm itching. See, cause I'm dirty. Um, my things work, but it looks like this system is, uh, 
pretty cool. So hopefully we'll have a video coming up soon with some more shower options for me. I like to say us, but sorry guys, I'm being selfish right now. This guy needs it worse. You're lucky that you can't smell through this video because you guys are like, Bleh. right away I can feel my body going, oh, thank you. This stuff smells delicious. Anyway, um, I've been online lately planning out my summer travels because I am dying to get to the backcountry right now and I'm also dying to hit the road for our big trip. Last year we didn't have a whole lot of a travel season. Yeah, I'm itching again. We didn't have a whole lot of a travel season um, because of upgrades to my van and waiting for shop time and stuff to get things done in my van and repairs that we kind of lost out on my big summer travel. Um, so this year I want to make up for it. I want to just hit the road and not turn around for six months. Um, that's why I'm so stoked that the shop is where it's at. It's on someone's private residence. Like they have to drive by my shop to get to their home every day. So whatever is back there is safe and secure and I don't have to worry about it. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so nice to be on the road and to get back and repair all the damage that that road trip put on my van. Um, but this year, I think we're leaving May 1st, no later. Earlier would be greater, but May 1st, I'm gonna hit the road. I figured we'd do May, June, and July up north. So we'll do Northern BC, Yukon, and Northwest Territories. And then sometime, maybe August, late August, early August, I don't know. We'll pop back into the top side of Alberta or Manitoba somewhere up there and then make a slow trek down through and then once Ontario is done with their sticky humid summer season I want to bounce myself into Ontario I need to go see my bro Andy at Overland Interiors I gotta go see the crew at Ray Outfitted and uh, hopefully maybe catch some of those there's some Overland gatherings out that way I think later in the year that maybe maybe this year we may make the trek out and go to them because I think that's just, it's good for business and just good, just be fun. Be fun after all those big adventures up there to find a place, park it for a, for a two, three, four day weekend, however long those events are and just hang out and talk to people and socialize and uh, network with, with others in the, in the overlanding and van life realm. And um, that's just good for me and good for everybody. So um, that's the plan for this year. I want to unplug from myself for a while, then I want to go do some business stuff in Ontario and maybe Quebec and heck, who knows? Maybe we'll end up in Cape Breton. Maybe we'll be right over there on the East Coast. Maybe this year we'll leave the Pacific Ocean, go to the Atlantic Ocean. Sorry, leave the Pacific Ocean, go to the Arctic, Arctic Ocean, and then over to the Atlantic Ocean on the East Coast. Who knows? We have all... We have till May 1st until snow says, go back to Vancouver, Chrome. Get out of here. So May, June, July, August, September, October is six months. And then if we make the trek back, maybe November, and then we're back here for our end of November, December, January, February, March, April, leave again May 1st. <laughs> Sorry, I am like overly excited about hitting the road this year. So, um... All we got to do to this van to get it ready is make sure it's mechanically good, check everything, change all the fluids, check the brakes, check all the suspension, and uh, re-secure the van build, make sure everything is super tight before we leave, and bounce. That's it. So far, my van's been really good this year. I've been driving it very minimal because we've been at the shop so much lately, which has been great on the gas. We've been saving a ton because our gas prices just went whoo, whoo, <laughs> through the roof. I heard Vancouver was like a dollar seventy four per liter. That's just a regular liter, not a not one of those supreme kinds, not premium kinds, just a regular one. Even on the island here the other day, I seen Supreme was at a buck ninety one, and it was a dollar seventy. 1.6 or something the other day that's insane that's that's dollars per liter not an american gallon which is 3.76 liters i think so yeah we're paying like five six bucks a gallon that's nuts oh hopefully it calms down because that can make an expensive summer travel 
Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out today. Jeffy, um, always great to have you in the shop, buddy. And um, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you soon. Uh, go check out the website, vancityvanlife.ca, for a full list of everything that's inside of my van. And we will be updating the website very soon with all the new toys that we have. Thanks for watching. See ya. Well, you made it to the end. That means you obviously like what we're doing here. So hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button while you're at it. We upload a ton of videos to YouTube every single week. So stick around, man. Hit that notification bell and make sure it's set to all notifications on. And you'll get them all. Okay, we're done for the day. See you tomorrow. Peace out.